Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and we are back again with Danganronpa. So last time we spent a bunch of time with Teko, really got on her good side, I feel. We gave her a bunch of gifts that she seemed to adore in her most hateful and yelling of ways, and uh, I feel like we got pretty close to her, and we got her to write an all new genre of novel and stuff, and she's apparently really great at it, so that's good news for her. Also, uh, Mondo and Taka are kind of having a man-off in the sauna, uh, as awkward as that sounds, but um, yeah, they're, they're in there, and golly, I really hope they don't pass out in there unless, you know, they get punished for sleeping somewhere other than the dorms. But I don't know if it counts as the dorms or not, so, since, you know, like, technically it's in the dormitory area. I, I don't know. And our concern for their lives stayed with us until we succumbed to sleep. So now we're going to be sleeping. We also tried to befriend Bia, but he's too busy to be bothered. <laughs> oh, we have a sexy calendar now. If fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive! Because I don't know! That's why I desperately cling to life! Jesus Christ, Monokuma, like, what is up with his theater things? They're getting so creepy now. <laughs> Bing bong, yay, morning, everybody wake your asses up. Go meet and talk for breakfast and hope that Mondo and Taka are alive. Good morning, everyone. It is now get ready yes, to Yes, beautiful day. I'm assuming they're alive since he didn't say anything. Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taka survived. <laughs> Uh, worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. You should've probably gone to the bathhouse first. When I entered... Oh, they're alive! Yay! <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What the... I told you it was male bonding! <laughs> hey, Makoto! Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday! Huh? Are they friends now? <laughs> They've been like this all morning. They were all buddy-buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. What? <laughs> feels gross? Hell no! Feels great more like! <laughs> this almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. Don't you go calling sexual harassment on something stupid like that, Hina. Shame! Forget her, bro! A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond! Oh god, they're rotastic now. You hear me? Friendship between men is stronger than blood! A woman could never understand! Yeah, sure, fuck me. Ain't what you, you just said, bro? Bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Yeah, you tattoo go. yourself so long. Oh my god, these two. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. So, uh, who won the contest? Jesus. Who gives a shit? They both just fell out, didn't they? Got it. Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. That's uh, completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. <laughs> oh. Yeah, for real. <laughs> oh, Sakura, you're amazing. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. Brotherhood! Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. <laughs> no, good for them. Let them be happy with their brotasticness. It's a bro bomb, dude. So, what should I do today? Oh, ding dong. Hmm, who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. Oh, Toko! What up, Chica? This is unusual. T Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really annoying? Uh, no. <laughs> well, well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I was just wondering what was going on. <laughs> I have a f favor to ask. I want you to g go somewhere with me. Don't kill me, please! <laughs> and where is it you want to go? Well, well. The library. Where B is at? Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Bia? He spends all his time in the library anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Did, did I say something wrong? <laughs> You're not a bl blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. Okay, wh what's... I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. Then let's go to the library. Okay, okay, library, sure, why not? Jeez, why so pushy? Wonder what's up her butt. 
Qu quiet. Be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. What? She... What? Okay, she actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Are we stalking Bia? Is that what's going on right now? Unsurprisingly, Bia was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here. <laughs> he's really here. Yeah, Toko, he's kind of here every day. I come in and I try to talk to him, try to give him a guess. He's just like, oh, I'm too busy right now. Okay, Makoto, go talk to him. Can I? Can I? Really? What? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stop being so loud. What do you want me to say? You go talk to him if you want to so bad. No, Makoto, you go talk to him. I want to talk to him. Can't. I don't want to interrupt him. Okay, that's kind of nuts, but whatever. No, let's go, Makoto. Let's go say what up, Bio. Whoa. Can we finally get to be friends? We get to be friends with you both? Okay, is this what we had to do to... <gasps> this is probably what we had to do to unlock being able to have free time with him. Because they were talking about oh, it's like, oh, we really need to focus on those two, Toko and Bia and stuff. And I like, couldn't do anything with Bia. But now we've done a bunch of shit with Toko and so maybe we can be friends. He seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like it's the best time to talk to him. Well, interrupt that shit. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. Ouch. Ah, so you notice me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Now hurry up and leave. No, it's a free hm. freaking library. Hey, yeah. And take her with you. Don't you... Aw, Toko. Hey, um, Bia. Mm. Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak, weak men. Be a woman who's woman dominated by strong men? What? I never said that. <laughs> well, well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Get out. <laughs> then go take a bath. You smell. I what? Oh, but I gave her a rose in a bottle. I'm sure she smells fantastic, douche. But that was kind of very weird, Toko. Don't make me repeat myself. Aw. Don't make me say it again. Go now before your stench latches onto the entire room. No, don't, don't be this. No, Toko, come back, sweetums. God damn it, Bia. Aw, Toko, I'm sorry, I fucked this up. He really dug into us in there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. Aw, uh, she seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Bia, to go that far. He must really be concerned about me, you know? Okay. <laughs> Yes, that's exactly what it is, you beautiful delusional flower. Huh? He told me to, to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Oh, Toko, that's not what it- Hey, Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Bia and I would be a good, good together? Oh, yeah, she's, um, Totally not. <laughs> um, well, no, I don't really know. That's true, true. There's really no way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. Okay, sure. Not crazy at all. There might come a day when you understand, maybe. Some, someday. Bye bye. Okay. Ah! Not this fucker again. Ah, young love. <laughs> Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes they, that leads people off in the wrong direction. Ah, oh, you evil fucking bear. All of a sudden I feel exhausted. So do I, Makoto. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. That was random. Okay, there's still time that I'm left today. What to do? Free time! Uh, let's, uh, I don't know. We should probably go try chilling with somebody else. Spent a lot, of, lot, a lot, a lot of time with Toko last time. Uh, let's see. Mondo? Maybe? Yoko? Taka? Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of a wide selection of people. Do, 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 do. Hero, I do like Hero. Except when he's being a meanie. But then again, they all have their mean moments, don't they? Huff! Fumi! Hi, how's it going, bro? Oh, no, wait, I don't want to hang out with you! I'm glad you came! 
Ah, uh, should I hang out with you? Oh, let's see who else is around. Not, not in personal, bud. <laughs> I just need to uh, run to the store real quick and go pick up some more gifts. I have a lot. I have a lot of gifts, but... Like, there's still a lot of blank spaces in the inventory. And I want to see what I can do. So, I'm just going to go blow all of our money that we have made and uh, see where that takes us. So, I will see you guys in a moment after I purchase some more gifts. Okay, we're back. So, I went, I blew all of our money. Absolutely all of it. It's all gone. It's not coming back, guys. And I got a few new gifts. Let's just go ahead and take a little look at here. So you guys can see. I don't know why I'm going this way. I should have probably gone the other way. Um, we have, like, a bunch of these. We got this weird meteorite arrowhead. I think... You probably saw that from last time. Voice changing bow, small light, freaky dolls, water flutes, um, promises from last time, uh, tool, it's a grip, basically, um, let's see, it says vice or whatever, but, um, graduation, we already had that, mains handbag, or I had that, pagan dancer, project zombie, these are all video games, so I'm thinking probably Hifumi, maybe? Um, secrets of whatever the hell, and... Antique doll and like these are the ones that stood out to me. The antique doll and if I can find it. We have this. It's some kind of camera to see electrical fields. And then where's the other one? There's like this is a god oh, war charm. It's all martial artsy. So I'm thinking this for Sakura. I'm thinking the camera maybe for our little techno person, you know, our techie. Uh, Chihiro, that's her name. And then I'm thinking... Where did it go? The antique doll? Maybe Celeste? Because of her Lolita thing? Uh, she's right there and she's staring right at us. Uh, I don't want to spend time with her. Uh, hi, Celeste. Let's Most grow closer. Does this school not have a dry cleaning service? How terribly upsetting. What am I supposed to do if my clothes become soiled? Clean them yourself. Should I hang out with Celeste for a while? Oh, yeah, I guess. There is nothing Normally, my pride would not permit me to allow you to be alone with me. But fine, I will allow you to entertain me for a while. Ugh, I killed some time with Celeste. Literally murdered it, because her looks can just kill anything. <laughs> ah, Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Celeste a present? Yes, most definitely. I have this frilly- Wait, no, I do want to give her something. Maybe not- I- What- What did I press? What would you like to give her? I don't know what I hit. I want to give her this frilly thing that I found in a vending machine. Now, questionable, why on earth- Oh yeah, I also got this thing! <laughs> the Emperor's Thong. It's amazing, isn't it? Uh, no, let's see, where'd that doll go? It's all frilly, like you! Do you like frilly things? I hope you like frilly things. Wow. So I can have this? I may have to re revise my initial impression of you. <laughs> the more wonderful things I receive from you, the better the impression I get. Yay! So she's happy with that. Yay! <laughs> Makoto, I would like to share something with you. Oh, what is it? <laughs> my perfect gambling strategy. I don't think she actually means that. Is there really such a thing? Indeed. Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whatever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part about gambling is that there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. There is. Indeed. Oh, that was me. There is, and it's like, yeah, that power is luck. Luck. Actually, there are only two types of luck, good and bad. Uh, there is no in-between. And that luck is built into every human, even at the moment of conception, like a computer program. Is that okay? Some call it fate. The bottom line is, luck is life. Well. Do you see what I am saying? I am the luckiest student, don't you know? You mean, that's your perfect strategy? Being lucky? <laughs> Correct. You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. This is why I've never lost. So, that's all there is to it, huh? <laughs> you are the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? One day I hope to put that to the test. I Don't say that! Hmm, well then, have a nice day. Without other words, Celeste quietly disappeared. God, she's creepy. I'd say my life's been more bad luck than good lately. Gambling's probably not a great idea for me. 
The last report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Maximize scale points of degrees and twelve, and just be happy about it. After parting ways with Celeste, I went back to my room. Okay, what else did I have? I had the thing, I think, for Sakura. And, uh, some for Ch Oh no, is it nighttime already? Damn it, Toko took all of my time. That was unexpected. <laughs> Ahem. School oh, announcement. School, school announcement. announcement. Yeah? Nighttime is quickly approaching, but before it arrives, all students... Please gather in the gym immediately. Uh-oh, what's he got planned? Emergency! Emergency! Okay, that's concerning. Gather in the gym? Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Yeah, so do I, Makoto. He usually doesn't call us for good things. Kyoko! Stuff is going on. Tell me what to do. Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement Indeed. just now? Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. Bye, Kyoko. I really can't do anything except what Monokuma tells me. Uh, okay, everybody, are everybody clear? Gotta make sure everybody's cleared out. Kyoko's, like, always waiting for us. She is so awesome. Why don't I spend time with her? I should be spending time with Kyoko. Mondo, bro, what's up? Yo. Hey, man, you here? Yeah, you about to head in? Yeah, has everyone else already gone ahead? Dude, Looks that shit. way. I don't like it, but nothing good's gonna come from ignoring that goddamn bear. Uh, Mondo? Are you sure you're okay? It went kind of all out in that sauna. What? Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. Yo. But, you know... <laughs> there, at the edge of hell, a promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it coming. Yo. Anyway, let's get our asses into the gym. Yay! <laughs> Man, something unique must have happened between the two of them. Uh, yep. <laughs> a promise between men was formed. A bond so unbreakable it cannot be broken. Uh, uh, oh, hey. Despair Hotel. <laughs> Forgot about that sign being there. That's the trial room. Um, Jim, 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 mm, Jim. I don't think that's the gym. I'm pretty sure the gym has a gym sign. Ha ha! I am so clever. Knowing all about these gyms. <laughs> uh, anybody in here? Hifumi, what? Where are you waiting out here for, bro? Hey, Hifumi, how come you haven't gone in yet? What? what? Okay, yeah, you have it, bro. Why is that? Mr. Makoto, don't scare me like that. Sorry, but we really should go inside. <laughs> no, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. Hifumi, are are you losing it a little? I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this, bro. <laughs> Damn, that's true, too. I, I guess we have no choice. I have to go, too. Wait for me. <laughs> ghost friend? I don't know. Hifumi gets stranger by the day, man. <sighs> Hmm. Asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this? What could he possibly want? Well... Indeed. What might await us at this time? <laughs> um... He keep He keeps things interesting, that's for certain. Um, How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while instead of you're doing an evil grin crazy face thing? Like... Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can only laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm. Uh, you. Pretty clearly you. Everybody else is kind of chill here, and I'm the normal one. I'm the super normal one, so you, you, you're the messed up one, bro. Huh? What, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing in particular, just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. <laughs> I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. You what is douche! This? It's going to come though. It's going to come one day. We are going to be buds. Oh, it's going to be a horrible buddy trip. Okay, I'm not in denial. Oh, that reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whatever would come help us? How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of a possible rescue. Well, but that's just. Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area, but they think the school's closed down. The police suck! 
damn straight, Hifumi. Fuck the police, right? <laughs> mm. Don't fuck the police. They're actually very good people. On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful to take control even of the police. Could it be? Oh, that. This might not be related, but. <laughs> then don't say it. Mm. Uh, nope, gonna say it. <laughs> It's not like some occult mystery. It's about last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space. And all of a sudden, I heard it. Heard, heard huh? what? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't know what it was. Hmm. What, what kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe Could it, it, be? it was like a construction site, I guess? construction site We're serious. I mean I could just be making that up I only just barely heard anything <laughs> then you d definitely made it up must have just been the sound of the ocean in the that head of yours what say what what you talking about Toko <laughs> I is that <laughs> Monokuma <laughs> yep it is of course it is How's it going, you berry douche? <laughs> He's arrived. <laughs> what hero heard? Uh, what hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion, huh? <laughs> or maybe a machine gun. That can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? I'm testing, um, weapons to kill you with later. I'm probably putting together all sorts of creative ways to, uh, execute you guys. Ah, ah, ah! Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. Um. Okay, fine. Then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us here? You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? <laughs> but before that, do you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably become become of become of this ho hum? Does he mean because? I don't know. Of this ho hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation, something rife with danger and intrigue. Yeah. Listen, can I just be frank? The next Blacken hasn't shown up yet and I'm getting bored! So I've um, decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Not another motivation. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? I cannot take this. Are you going to show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? <laughs> drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore! I have- good- good for you, Taka. Having faith, dude, bro. <laughs> okay, no matter what you do, I swear to god we won't. Hmm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time, it's embarrassing memories and secrets. Oh. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating of my own and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. I don't want to know what my darkest secret is. I don't feel like I could have very dark secrets. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. Ooh, I want to know what key- I want to- do we get to- do we get to look at them? I'm going to hand them out now, so take a second to take a peek. Yes, as Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched up the envelope with my name written on it. Oh, we have to look at our own. Okay, whatever. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. What is it? Makoto wet the bed until he was in the fifth grade. <laughs> oh, Makoto, that's nothing. Golly, he has the most... <laughs> Pathetic one, right? What? Oh. How? How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. <laughs> you have 24 hours! If someone doesn't become blackened by then, all of your deepest, darkest, most embarrassingest secrets will be exposed to the world! Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah, wouldn't that be so embarrassing? Oh, God. <laughs> so, that's what you meant by motivate? 
<laughs> yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant. Trust me, none of you want to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we never kill someone over something like this. What? Wha what did you say? Count. He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's going to murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. <laughs> oh, oh no. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assumed you'd be all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing these next motives. Ah, uh, man. You're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. <laughs> so sad, so depressed. They're not well. <laughs> With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. So I didn't I'm... know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. <laughs> it's not really a big thing, right? I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing, but that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Yeah, it's like, when, I want to know what their secrets are, though. I mean, <laughs> one of the bed's not that bad, and they don't seem to have anything that bad either, so... Uh, I'm just curious. What's so embarrassing in their past, but not too, and, you know, murderously embarrassing, I guess. Listen Good news, everyone! I have a brilliant idea! Yay. Why don't we all just confess our secrets in those envelopes right here and now? I mean, he's gonna reveal them anyway, right? If we do that, then all motive for murder will vanish! That's pretty smart, right? Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... <laughs> I don't want to hear your stupid story. I already know your embarrassing thing, I'm pretty sure, Toko. Don't worry about it. <gasps> what? Besides, I don't- I don't want to talk about it. Oh, you poor thing. I don't care what anybody says. I don't want to talk about mine. As for Neither me. do I. Not because it's unpleasant, um, but because it is impossible. Oh. Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. Dude, don't, don't talk to your boss like that. <sighs> Absolutely not. It's okay, come just on. a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly. As I said, Come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> I said I don't want to talk about it, you bag of lard! Aww. Yeah! <laughs> I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it, but if we get it all out in the open... I... I wanna know what B's is. I wanna know what his is bad. I mean, it makes sense. It's going to get revealed anyway. Just talk it out, man. Crazy, right? What do you think, Shihiro? Uh, um, I'm sorry. So sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But what? I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So if you don't um... want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. Um, well, well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's going to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret so bad you'd kill someone to keep it? Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay, so I'll stop with all the secret talk, but each of us has 24 hours to get ready for our secrets to be exposed to the world. But something tells me something murderous is most likely going to take place, so I wonder who has the super murder card, hmm? Alright. Um, having our secrets exposed isn't going to- uh, Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be any fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. Uh, the way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I know it's going to be tough, but- and it is nighttime. I better get back to your rooms. <sighs> Such a long, long day. <laughs> this is a school announcement. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's nighttime. The door dining hall will be locked. Let's well, everybody get the hell out of here, dreams, right? Everyone. Good night. Uh, don't let the bed bugs by indeed. Hmm. Nighttime already, huh? Okay, let's all call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but we left things as they were, and left things as they lay. One by one, we head back to our rooms. So who's going to be doing the killing? Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about? A way to connect to the outside world? 
Honestly, all the crap Monokuma was, spot at, was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle... Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today! I am fantastically tired. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. I knew it! Murder! Da-na-da! Who signed today? Oh, a gun. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, it's the difference between like, Oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? Because there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of a moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice and put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. Is this a hint? <laughs> Has the entire thing been a hint? The Monokuma Theater? I, uh, I don't know. Morning. Good. Yeah, morning. Ah, Good fuck you. Good morning. <laughs> oh, ah. <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. Well, what were you doing here? Yeah. I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? There's been a murder! I used to, I used to be acting this way back. I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates. What? Who's dead? What? Uh, what? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What, what happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. I want to know. Just tell us, bro. Come on. Good luck! Uh, something happened to someone. Is it, was it, who was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if... No, what ifs are pointless, especially now when... The dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Oh, why so many deaths? <laughs> okay, so it's not Sakura, Hida, Hiro, or Bia. That leaves Toko, Celeste, Fumi, um, Chihiro... Am I forgetting anybody? Mondo? Um, Is he in here? Are you okay? Hey. I talk it too. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Um, Hiro, Hida, Sakura, and uh, Bia. What up, Bia? <laughs> You're the only ones here. Where's everyone else? <sighs> either they're already. Oh uh, wait, sorry. <laughs> um, either they're already off track to verify what Monokuma said. Or they fall on victim to something that Monokuma mentioned. Something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder. After hearing what Monokuma had said, had to say, the worst possibility forced its way to my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um. So, so if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Probably. I mean, a mode of huh? things seems to be really pressuring people. It can't be! That's someone with a bunch of old memories! <laughs> Just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook? Do you realize how dangerous that is? What the what? heck? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. <laughs> Here. Uh, be a why? Ah, uh, what good does it do me to go out my way to help you? I am going to make you my best friend, you fucker. We are going to just- Ah! Uh, it's, it's a revenge friend. Revenge friend. <laughs> Stop saying that already. Um. Uh, there's something wrong with him, for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. Uh, that's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. Hmm, the game is afoot. 
Uh, what could have gone wrong? Kitchen. Anything. Uh, knives and everything. Still looking good. Ooh, nothing to be observed in this kitchen. Interesting. Leave the kitchen. Why, yes. That's quite unusual. Uh, just the normal stuff. Alright, leave the area. Let's go! Um. Hannah, anything? Any spots? I knocked on the, the doors, but nobody answered. Did they all go see what happened? Oh, then what about the second floor of school? That's one place new to all of us, so it seems like the natural place for everyone to go. Well, I mean, it's not the only place, but... Um, okay, let's just get to mapping then. Get out of here! Uh, the second floor. Let's see if heroes found anything. Oh wait, this is the first floor. Oh well, we'll, we'll still see. Um, hero! Hero, bro! Find anything? Probably not, but still. Yo. Hey, Makoto, honestly, what do you think? Huh? About what? About Bia. You think he's being brainwashed or what? I, I don't know. You know, yeah, no, the more. You know more about that kind of thing than me, right? <laughs> what? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you're some kind of psychic. Wouldn't you be able to, like, perceive that type of hey. energy? Listen, Makoto, I think you've completely misunderstood what it is I do. Okay, listen, fortune telling is like. Well? It's totally different from brainwashing or hypnosis or any of that pseudo scientific bullcrap. Uh. Pseudo scientific, my god. <laughs> I need to, you to understand that. Uh, so you expect me to think fortune telling isn't pseudoscience. Oh, sorry, but I don't want to get yelled at again. <laughs> um. Alright, up to the second floor. So I think. I don't know if there's anyone else down here. But we're not wasting our time with that. We're trying to find out what the hell's going on. <gasps> Maybe the library. I mean, there was a lot of focus going on with Bia, right? Dun dun dun! Anything bad going on in here? Yeah, Bia's here, but... <laughs> There's nothing here of interest, don't you agree? Oh yeah, that's right, Bia was in the dining room. My short-term memory is shit. <laughs> you should go look somewhere else. Yeah, I guess we'll just... Golly, man. It's like... Can't even be bothered to look for anything? Um... Classrooms? There's not much up here. Um... Let's see. Reality isn't everything. Okay. Nope. Nothing in here. Um... Let's see. Oh yeah, we have the pool. We have the pool area and I think another classroom somewhere. Um, where's the pool? Pool! Anything in here? Nope. Doesn't seem like much is going on. I don't know. Can I go in here? I don't think I can go in here, huh? The door's open. But aren't these supposed to be locked? Oh, did I find it? Was I correct here? For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Oh, okay. I think I found something interesting. Okay, investigation. It's all clear. Just as I thought. Bia! Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. C come on! <laughs> and the locker rooms? They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. Ah, uh, okay. He was muttering as if it, talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girls' locker room door. Just ignore that gun, but whatever. And the door swung open without a sound. Okay, he seemed really on that, right? It's weird. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Oh shit, somebody- <gasps> Chihiro! No! What? Son of a bitch, who would ch Why Chihiro? Why? Oh my god, it's cause she's the most precious little innocent baby. She is the weakest of us all. You bastards. Whoever you are, you fucking bastards. 
I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... <laughs> that was a scream, Makoto. Uh, a wild, almost... <laughs> whatever. A scream escaped from my mouth. Primeval, whatever. Chapter 2! Boy's Life of Despair, Deadly Life. Is that it? Is it be our hero? Is is that who we're supposed to be su suspicious of? I, I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Be on the other hand. Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this unfold in front of a TV screen. Ah, oh, poor Chihiro, they didn't even close her eyes, man. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. And something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust? Yes. Hmm. But what is that? That's such a weird thing. Ah, uh, such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal, wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? <laughs> no, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike Sa with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. Interesting. Oh, it's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? Did it for fun? But... So it had nothing to do with the motives? It was Celeste, wasn't it? Unless it was you, Bia. You seem really eager to get in here. Uh, what? My head was swimming. I was still reeling, too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my mind... What the heck? Hey, I heard screaming! Did something... Uh, Chihiro! No! I know, bro. Uh, I guess they're going to alert everyone else. Why is there... That's a weird post you have in a chick's locker room, isn't it? A body has been discovered! Thank you for the alert, Monokuma. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class oh, trial will begin. Great. <laughs> it feels like we just went through all this. What the hell was that? What? Aw, oh, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka's, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement place to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The Wait, what? Oh, in case two people would be messing with the body or something? Um, okay. The body discovery announcement? Then Jihiro really is... Yeah, that's true. Dead, yes. Dead, <laughs> yes. Before you start screaming your head off, go round everyone up. It seems another game has begun. Golly, Bria! Bria! Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Ah! Uh, Taka bolted out the locker room door. This is this is where we're ending today. Ah! <laughs> uh, why to hero? Of all the people, why did it have to be her? She was so adorable. They keep on killing people that I'm meeting to spend time with. I was going to give her a camera. Now what am I going to do with it? I don't got any use for a camera. And who would do something like this? I can only think that maybe like Celeste or Bia would. Because they're the only ones looking at this like a game right now, right? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe Celeste because it seems... Like, Bia seemed really quick on, you know, getting into the locker room and everything, but I'm thinking that's probably another red herring type deal. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Because <laughs> they did this before where they're, like, trying to convince you that certain people did certain things. And I feel like they did that, like, you guys were saying before that, you know, it was super easy because it was the first trial. And so I'm thinking it can't be that easy this time around, seeing as we're on the second trial. So it's got to be a bit more complicated. But, um, damn, I don't have any idea who could have possibly done this other than the two of them. I mean, they seem like the most obvious candidates, but I can't see anyone else doing it for fun, you know? Oh, it's so harsh. Fucking Chihiro, man. <laughs> she was so adorable! Oh, and I wanted her and Mondo to be happy. God damn it. They were going to be so cute. As like the strong and weak couple. It was it was going to be adorable. And she wanted to be stronger! She wanted to be stronger, man! 
Oh well, we're going to save here, you know, until next time, like and subscribe if you want to, and uh, thank you for watching.